Attack of Titan Season 4 Episode 9 Shirtless sure, Aaron just stole your girlfriend or boyfriend So what's up guys, Fox in here Attack of Titan manga comparison time plus a deep episode dive So go ahead and smash that like and subscribe How many likes can Man Bun Aaron get? You got Episode 9 titled Brave Volunteers Same title as Chapter 106 You got the opening narrator scene of Armin cradling the shell Which was the first thing that Armin found on the beach episode in Season 3 the last few seconds of that episode actually teases a wit studio version of Armin with a shell. It appeared in the trailer too. So many different versions. Looking at the ships, I can't say I'm a boat person, but it does look like the models have been upgraded for the enemy. Speaking about the devil, give a warm welcome to the Attack Titan. How nice to get a personal Eren greeting. I don't know, but the manga Attack Titan looked friendly to me. The anime version now looks like a demon from their nightmares. I'll also be quick about it, I don't think the CG blended too well. Not with him lifting the ship. As always, the trailer shot was not used. To the animation could have done wonders here. It is a good thing they actually tried to hide Eren holding the ship as much as possible. Despite this looking funky, I'm gonna take this stuff from MAPPA so they could actually work on future scenes where it matters. For example, Kuku Hanji coming in to invite these tired guests over for tea. There was a quick line here missed about how they must be tired over their long journey. You got more of this Hanji goodness as she teases Niccolo. You could just taste Niccolo's discomfort here. With Niccolo yelling to blast them all, Manga Hanji was sweating bullets. In the anime, she's just crazy. This is some prime season 1 Hanji right there. As for Mr. Butchin looking furious over Hanji's skit, chill dude. Taking a look at the CG abs for the Attack Titan, I swore Eren's Titan keeps on changing size. At least he's got the green glow going. For Hanji, screeching like a Pokemon, Hmm, do you recognize that face from anywhere? Duh, Hanji looks a little cute peeking over the rock. Then for Potato Girl ready to cap that mofo. Funny cause I thought this was anime original but it does have a manga panel. For the anime you have so much jam everywhere. Actually more than the manga. You know if this was last season they would have censored this. For an anime update to the Yelena scene. After blasting the dude, now you have others quickly turning on her. Even Onyanko Pon switched over to a smaller sidearm. Not really too important, but the anime did change up the soldiers tossing their toys over the ship. Can't let those go to waste. For Hanji and Levi here, oh, they are keeping tabs on height. Poor Levi got cut off some. Mr. Attack Titan looks as menacing as ever. I know people complain so much about the CG, but he should also notice how his manga face looks derpy at times. Then Raccoon Eyes. She does give a different vibe for the anime, mostly because her eyes are no longer entirely black. Next up, sleeping potato girl Sasha. Oh, I didn't catch it at first. She's actually drooling a bit here. Let her sleep, it's almost daytime. Armin's hairdo looks changed up a bit here. Minor nitpick here for Eren. I do wish they actually kept a deeper focus on Eren's face. This was meant to show his frustration over the situation. Come on, Hanji, looking into the barrel. That actually made my heart skip a beat. Don't do that. Just know this whole bit was new for the anime. For an attention to detail, the anime cup has a three flower design added. For Team Levi and Hanji, you got a notable changeup. The manga difference here was no kicking and they didn't actually say anything out loud. I guess they know each other that long that they were in sync. Or is it just a new LD and mind trick? You really do have to give it to Hanji having the best reactions this episode. Going from shock to that fake smile trying to keep it together. Getting to the Titan dance off. Honestly, I did expect this to be a still image. For the anime now, it is more detailed. This is what the Titans do when Levi isn't around. Speaking of which, Levi did look tired here. Although thinking about it, you do know how little the dude sleeps. Looking at the astonished Yelena, her eyes really do make a major difference. Anime Yelena has some skit dialogue here. She originally made it much more explicit that the Survey Corps was at fault for the war that Marley was in. Thrashing the Armor Titan and Beast Titan hurt their pride. For the anime, notice the teapot has a matching flower design. As Yelena reveals how Marley took over their nation, the manga actually gave you a glimpse of the other soldiers outside. New anime quick shot showing the outside morning. Looking at Yelena. Aw, oh, so the anime did remove all the times that Yelena did speak with an eye closed. I guess that would have made her way too suspicious. As for Yelena's hairy god, the anime beast titan has been working his back off. Notice Zeke's beast titan no longer looking back at Yelena. The manga almost made it seem like he was in the middle of protecting her. So blonde and the giant ape. Where have you heard this before? I like how anime Yelena is now lit up with this ray of hope. That thirsty look for Yelena is new too. I was digging this little addition. Don't worry, people are doing that too, but for a different Jaeger this episode. Did you spot the interesting transition here? Yelena is talking about their goals of freedom to Eldian people. This was combined with the rising sun. Switching to Eren, sporting Mikasa's current look. Now I see where she got the inspiration. 
getting into the Zeke situation. Two pages skipped for the enemy. Zeke wanted him and his followers allowed on the island and to be able to meet up with Eren. In return, Zeke would guarantee the safety of the island, provide them with the latest tech, introduce them to other nations, and give them Marley's secrets. I'm assuming all of this will be touched on in a certain Zeke flashback. The anime does give you this better look at the gears turning in Eren's head. This was with the mention of Zeke's plan. Likewise, Armin notices. A detail you can spot for the anime is the people against the plan being from the garrison. For some manga Eren stuff, he thought back how the smiling titan had the same face as the lady in the basement picture, and by coincidence he happened to come in contact with her. Next up, this anime changes up with how Eren brings up the colossal titan rumbling. The manga give you a bunch of those agents of chaos behind him. The anime instead showed you the walls. Wah wah. His story here looks straight out of Attack on Titan Season 3. Oh, Eren does care. Anyway, back outside, I love the detailed map I added with the full moon in the anime. Recall the full moon being the time that Marley ships would visit. This glasses dude here got an anime makeover. No vest either. Yelena really pulls off looking menacing here. Getting to the Colossal Titan, his transformation light almost looked like a nuke going off. Why was Armin doing a T-pose? With a close-up of his mug, some of you are calling him Thanos. More like Thanos' little brother. This dude should have been steaming out compared to the attack on Marley. Next up, you got a change up for the anime. You got Armin continuing his bedtime story for Annie. The manga showed you the Marley soldiers being rounded up. I was actually interested in the skip scene of Levi next to a tall Yelena. Come on, someone make fan art of that. Similar situation for the Hanji scene going over the poor plans. Sorry, Attack of Titan B Team Trio, your stuff is gone. Kony here mentioned how the kids would love the port. Jean was wondering whether it was going to be a mixed bath. You know he was just thinking about Mikasa. And Sasha was thinking of food, as always. The anime did, however, keep Sasha's innocent question here. The scene got updated so the other guys are also awkwardly looking at Sasha. Jean looks priceless. Onyakobon does handle this question like a boss. You got his anime double looking more smug. For a notable anime changeup when he's talking about the creator, the anime now only focuses on him and Armin. Compare this to the manga where they use a three panel combo. Notably, Yelena was not looking too pleased. She is perhaps thinking about her one true furry god. Next up, the poor progress. The anime actually gives you a view of it. The food now is more delicious looking for the anime. I'm not a lobster guy because I'm broke, but this did actually make me crave some paella and shrimp. How about you? You get a new fun anime Mikasa line about it smelling fishy. Hmm. You could also spot some wine bottles in the back. So it looks like Sasha definitely got the money shot this episode. It almost looked like a titan chowing down. Sasha was even dual wielding those lobsters. Imagine her in a buffet. I did notice no anime blush for her. On the other hand, looks like Niccolo got all the blush. I will point out how the subtitles did use eating like a pig here. In reality, there was no bacon reference. Switching to Eren, practicing what he'll never use. For some reason, Mikasa from behind got a lot of attention this episode. Wonder why? With Armin thinking back how they got friendly with the Marley guys, you did actually see an extra panel of them being roped up. The anime even expanded the train demo with Hanji and Armin. See, brilliant minds can get along. As for Eren blasting forward, you actually had this teased in the final season 3 episode. I am glad to see the anime kept the framing so it looks like Eren killed Sasha. If anything, perhaps the anime now hammers it down too much. The anime did add that recap of Sasha's final moments in red. Blood guys, blood. For a skip page, you saw the survey car as they arrived back on the island. This included a shot of Sasha's body. Gabby and Falco were being taken off, Zeke was going with Hanji's group, and Eren was not looking back with Levi. Enjoy the new anime scene here, Super Wet Eren. No wonder this episode got so highly rated. Switching over to Mikasa at the grave. This episode screamed Full Battle Alchemist to me with the light touch of rain. You actually have a new shot of the focus with the flowers and goodies for Sasha. You know, Sasha passing away is super sad. But hell, she got more time dedicated to her passing away than Erwin ever did. For poor Niccolo, the guy grieving and clearly getting an anime beat down too. Of course, it had to be a military police guy. You do have more of a focus on Niccolo's pain. Gotta give you the feels. The anime did a better job of showing how wrecked Kony was after losing Sasha, a Marco-sized portion gone. Then, for Sasha's family coming in, Papa Potato sure changed from season 2. Easier to make out the little girl that Sasha saved too. And from the family, red pinkish flowers from them. Next up, outside you have people looking over the newspaper about the recent win. What a switch up from the manga where they were overjoyed. Funny cause the season 3 ending gave you this very scene of the cheers. 
For Levi babysitting the monkey, you got some neat fun Levi dialogue. Levi explains how they're going to a five-star hotel ready for him. Switching to Yelena getting captured, the anime did glance over them not being able to steal the material, equipment, or any Titan experts to recreate this Titan batter. Just go ahead and ask Zeke. Speaking of which, Zeke's lodging. Fun new anime shot of him looking up. That really is some Levi level humor. You're a monkey, so this spot is perfect. Although being serious, the anime did skip out Levi's explanation about the spot. You got trees up to 80 meters. It wouldn't be easy for Zeke to escape. And there's no rocks or other crap that the Beast Titan could toss. For something interesting skipped over for Zeke, he did mention how there's supposedly no other spot like this in the world. Next up, the Warrior Brats. You got an anime changeup with Gabby looking super pissed. You really have Aaron Yeager on the brain. Originally, Gabby was quiet. Anyway, back to Armin. The anime gave you a focus on the shell. In comparison, for the manga, you did see the scouts reading over Eren's letters. I got a feeling they changed this up not to give something away from the scene. As for Sleeping Beauty Annie, you could go ahead and compare the trailer shot for Annie here. There's also the Season 1 version. Looks like the level of detail in her crystal cocoon got updated. I was wondering whether her hair might have grown compared to Season 1. But nope, they match up. Wake up Annie, you're missing all the fun. And the best for last, Man Bun Eren. This man mean has everyone soaking. So here you guys don't like his old man back. At the release, Mappa gave you some pepperoni with that snack. Mikasa's definitely tiddling herself to that later. So, how much did you like this episode? I'm still so presently surprised that the anime slowed down the pacing. But as someone that's editing and double checking this stuff, all this jumping around was a real pain. Thanks, Mappa. For the actual chapters covered this episode, chapter 106, all of it, and then some parts of chapter 107. Attack of Titan Season 4 was averaging about two chapters an episode. Some exceptions here and there. Looking at the titles of the following episodes, plus taking into account how much text and flashback heavy they are, it looks like the anime will keep going at this reduced pace, which I consider a huge positive. Episode 11 is titled Counterfeit. Episode 12 is titled Guides. Both of these correspond to the names of chapter 109 and 110. Sure, they could cover some stuff for the following chapters, maybe 111, 112, but for now, let's assume 110. After that, only four episodes left. How many chapters could four episodes realistically cover? Recall the previous estimated stopping point was chapter 122. With only four known episodes left, that would mean three chapters each. Sure, you got some action stuff coming up, but no way in hell is that happening. Not unless the anime cuts out chunks and chunks. Which now it seems very likely that the Attack of Titan episode 16 will cover up until chapter 119. Anime only people will love that cliffhanger. But let's be honest, practically anything at this point is cliffhanger material. At 119, that will leave 20 chapters worth of Attack on Titan material left, or about 10 anime episodes worth of content, assuming an average of 2 chapters per episode. So what was that about a possible Attack on Titan movie? 10 episodes at 20 minutes is over 3 hours worth of content. Unless they want to split this with the movie part 1, then part 2, part 1 being mostly set up and maybe even feeling disjointed as a movie, the movie route starts to seem less plausible. So after breaking all of this down, I'm predicting Attack of Titan Season 4 Part 2 will be around 8 to 10 episodes. I really hope they don't call it Part 2. As I always expect people online to claim they know the MAPPA Studio Dog, supposedly getting leaks as to what's coming up next. Especially when you get closer and closer to Episode 16. I'm betting MAPPA won't officially announce anything until Episode 16 is done. But anyway, that's just an Attack on Titan theory. Let me know, do you want a movie or two or more TV anime episodes? I still much more prefer the anime dropping weekly. Let me know your preference below and do subscribe and smash the like if you enjoyed. Definitely check out my winter anime video and a certain spicy anime that people want cancelled. Take a look and I'll see you guys later.